right, one more time. Let's do osmolarity. Let's take a quick look at it. So what are the two hormones that affect um, water reabsorption back into the body? Aldosterone and ADH. Aldosterone drags in salt and water, so it changes blood volume, blood pressure, and affects blood pressure. ADH drags in just water. It opens aquaporin doors in the collecting tubules and collecting ducts. So this is what it would look like if water is not allowed to be reabsorbed, right? No ADH um, is present. So you're going to have a high volume, dilute, clear colored urine. What happens when ADH is present? We said it opens the doors to allow water to move back into the body. Now you're going to have, because water is being reabsorbed, you're going to have a low volume, concentrated, probably yellow urine, and it's a high osmolarity. This is what it would look like. So anytime that you drag in water, it doesn't, so you would think anytime you drag in water, it's going to dilute everything out here. But no, the body is set up so that there's blood vessels that will drag away the water as soon as it's reabsorbed back into the body. And this is what the blood vessels will do. Anytime water comes in, it'll be dragged back into the blood so that it doesn't dilute the concentrated layers that are set up in order to allow this to all occur. And then that's pretty much it. This is a dialysis machine. And what it does is it filters um, the blood, it does the job of what the kidney would do. When the kidney fails, we need dialysis, and this can be anywhere from three to six hours, three times a week.